Hey, when are you guys going to judge best laugh? <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> I like her laugh. She won. She won in my book. But if you close Hello awesome people, welcome back to Day of the Tentacle Remastered. Last episode we built the super battery and today's episode is all about winning the human show in Laverne's time. If this is the first episode you watch, uh, you watch that is probably a really weird thing to say but you're gonna find out what I mean by that pretty soon. Um, in order to do this and actually win the human contest we need to do a few things. Um, meanwhile. The design's solid, but I need some waterproof material, like cast iron or something. Okay. Well, probably a hint to what we need to be doing at some point. But, we're gonna send some stuff to Laverne first. We're gonna send her spaghetti, which is not gonna be spaghetti when we put it in the toilet. It is now wet, soggy noodles. Laverne. You're gonna get that stuff. Because last episode I was talking about the human contest and how do we enter it and how do we get the mummy there. Well, I have an idea now. Well, actually I don't have an idea. I know how to do it now because I, uh, I've i been experimenting off camera. So we got the wet, soggy noodles. Should we say what she has to think about it's that? It's all slimy and sticking together. Oh, that sounds lovely. Okay, let's go to Bernard because he has some stuff for her too. We need to give her the uh, fork. This is switching up a whole lot of things, but it's way easier this way. Uh, we need to give her the fork and then we need to go back to Bernard and we need to give her the, where is it? The fake barf. This is all part of our elaborate plan of winning the human contest using a mummy. Okay, um, next. This is where we are gonna actually enter the human contest. We're gonna go to the mummy. Um, where was the mummy? The mummy was upstairs. Uh, so we need to go over here. Let's go upstairs. Uh, it was not the first room, I think it was the second room. The first room was the uh, time capsule. This is, yeah, this is the mummy. So, we actually found, last time we were here, we found roller skates and an extension cord. Well, turns out we have to use them on the mummy. That's one, and... I don't want to plug that in. What? I don't want to plug that in. Oh. That's, uh... Push him. Well, that works too. He's now... <laughs> He's now downstairs. Well, I got an achievement. It's an honor just to compete. Everyone's <laughs> raring to go. Let's get this show on the road. Yeah, let's get this on the road. Ah, here it oh, there's a new one. <laughs> okay, let's go there. Um, hmm. It was upstairs, right? It's all the way upstairs. Yeah. Who is this? Nice outfit. Don't bother. You'll don't just bother. get beat like the rest of them. <laughs> I don't think this guy has much of a chance. Well, I don't think either. Okay, you need to shut up. I don't like you. Here you go. Oh, Harold, that's gross. <laughs> what are you babbling about? You really should have told the judges if you weren't feeling well. Oh, ick! Now, eek. how did that mess get in there? I think I'm going to be sick. Someone in here not feeling well? Uh. <laughs> I was feeling fine until I saw that. Is that your regurgitation? 
No, I'm a healthy human. Didn't you just say you thought you were going to be sick? That's just a figure of speech. Do you realize <laughs> you could have infected the whole show with human influenza? But I just got all my shots. <laughs> You're a good-looking human, Harold, but you know the rules. You're out of the show. Yep, bye-bye. <laughs> What a mess. And it cleaned up the fake bar too. I That's awesome. Cleaning up after humans. Uh, yeah, me too. <laughs> well, here we go. Harold is out of the game. Now, the first thing we need to do is win the hair contest. And in order to do so, we have some lovely hair slash wet soggy noodles. Oh man, that looks uh, amazing. <laughs> Well, that's not gonna win it, so let's use the fork. <laughs> Look at their face! <laughs> well, that's some good hair. Let's see uh, if we can get the judges to... And so I said to her, Ooh. that's not my suction cup. <laughs> you think that's funny? Listen to this. Well... Judges, let's talk to these guys. Hey, when are you guys going to judge best hair? So that's the first one, best hair, then best smile, then best laugh. And we need to win all of these. Uh, hey, anybody care for a bribe? Keep up the good work, you judges, you. Hey, anybody care for a bribe? What do you think we are, human? Ha ha ha, human. <laughs> <laughs> So let's ask him about the best hair. Hey, when are you guys going to judge best hair? Oh, all right. Oh, there you go. Let's check it out. Wow, that's the best hair I've ever seen on a mummy. <laughs> and full and juicy. The mummy wins. So oh, they do know it's a mummy. Three. Ta -da -da! We won! Best hair! Well, that's phase one of the human contest. Now we need to win best smile. And in order to do so, we need to do a little bit more. So let's go to Bernard and let's take the test book and send it to Hoagie. Let's grab that and uh, yeah, in order to now get the best laugh, we need to go to the horse. Because if you guys remember, he has golden teeth. And that's one heck of a smile if you ask me. So let's go there and let's go grab his teeth. Um, the horse is upstairs, I think, yeah, the horse is upstairs. One more. And there he is. So, let's use our textbook, which we got, just got from Bernard, on the horse. Ahem. The <laughs> LALR compiler is constructed by the following method. First, develop a rigorous elective grammar. <laughs> if the elements have NP completeness, the crunchy factor can be ignored. Blah, 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 blah. Blah. Whoa. And there we go. We can take these dangers now. Well, it was that easy. Now, let's send them to Laverne. So we can win the best smile. Best smile ever. Man, I wish they could place the uh, ground on in a more convenient place because walking outside and inside and it's getting a bit, a bit tedious, I must admit. I hope we can do this in one episode because it's taking a while to get these things uh, done. So, use the answer for toilet, let's go to Laverne. Now, Laverne needs to go back down. Can we go to the window? No. That would be faster. 
Uh, all the way back down to the Grand John. And let's collect those dentures and bring them to our nice little human mummy. Let's pick him up. There we go. You have him, right? Yeah, we have him. Now let's go back and use them on our mummy. Hello. Don't mind me, I'm just a tentacle. And apparently to you guys, a very cute tentacle. Let's go upstairs. And here we are. So, use dentures with the mummy. There we go! Best smile ever! <laughs> Not really, but hey. They're tentacles, they don't know. Let's see. When are, hey, when are you guys going to judge best smile? Why not now? Hey, when are you guys going to judge best smile? Oh, alright. Well, there we go. Should we win it? I guess we should. I like the fact that one guy is still sleeping. I like the quiet one with the big T. <laughs> There's nothing in the rules about them being white. First place goes to the mummy. Agreed. Well, second first place. We only need one more to win this human contest. Using a mummy. <laughs> and in order to do that, we need to win Bast Laugh. Now, a mummy can't laugh on its own because he doesn't make any noise. So, we need to go to Bernard. Yeah, this is getting quite extensive. Uh, do we have the scalpel? Yeah, we sent the scalpel earlier to Bernard. Um, because we need it. We need the scalpel. And... We're gonna blow up this clown. But first... I can't. Uzo's intimidating. Bam! <laughs> okay, that laugh, that that's the one we need. So I did that to, to just be funny, but also to uh, show you guys what we're gonna do. So use scalpel with Uzu the clown. There's the box of laughs. Let's pick it up. Okay, we got the box of laughs, um, we now need to send that to Laverne. So, we need to head back. Yeah, again. Chronochon and... Let, oh, the boo will be gone, we're gonna send that to Laverne too. Um, why? That will, uh, I will show that later, because that's for, well, after the human contest. But we're gonna need it. We are definitely gonna need it. Let's run around, let's run around. I like the fact she's holding up the uh, tentacle in skies. <laughs> I didn't like her at first as a character, but she's growing on me. I, I start to like her because she's just so goofy. She was a little bit too goofy for my taste, but I like it. I li actually like it now. So let's take the booboo be gone. And same thing, let's go back to Bernard now. And send the, uh, uh, where is it, where is it, where is it? The box of laughs. And go back to Laverne. Pick it up. And yeah, we have to go back upstairs again. Okay, I could have done this all at once. Uh, but then you would have missed a part of the puzzles. And I think that's not fun. So, yeah, bear with me. This is just part of the game. And I still feel like it's best to show it, because it's just, uh... Otherwise you just get jumps from one cut to another cut to another cut, and I don't feel like that's, uh... That's the way we should do this. So, box of laughs. Use it with the mummy. Strap it in. <laughs> there we go. It's in his pocket. Now, best laugh. Can we win it? When are you guys going to judge best laugh? <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> I like her laugh. She won. She won in my book. Okay, who's got a joke? 
Hey, I just <laughs> flew in from Baltimore, and boy are my suction cups tired. <laughs> <laughs> oh, classic. What's it with Baltimore in this game? It's amazing how the mummy can do that without moving his lips. <laughs> I say we give him first place. Yeah, do, do. Agree. Please do. Yes. Well, that makes him best of show. We won! Let's go congratulate him. <laughs> he is very well preserved. I'll miss his laugh. It's time to give him his winnings and start packing up. We gotta get this whole show to Baltimore by Thursday. What is it with Baltimore? Yes, our work here is done. We won! It's an honor just to compete, but winning is... And then it cuts off. That was the achievement I got. <laughs> well, Ted, this is where we <laughs> part ways. You've certainly helped save humanity. Even though you've been <laughs> dead for <laughs> thousands of years, I think you're my... Favorite Edison. <laughs> well, that's it. Now. Velvet rope. Can we It looks up? quite happy where it is. Okay, well, then we'll leave it. Now, last thing to do in this episode. We're gonna... No, 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 don't go inside. We need to go downstairs. We need to get this guard away from here so we can actually use the grandfather's clock. Uh, and in order to do so, I, w I was right in the first episodes. We need to free the Edisons so he will go and catch them. But we need to use this on the fence. This ought to be good. <laughs> well, that seems weird. But, I will show you why we should do this. Let's go back to Hoagie. Because Hoagie has a squeaky mouse toy. Which we should use. And uh, now we go back to Laverne. Pick that up. And it will become apparent why this cat having a white stripe on its back is so important for us. This is why this game is difficult. Because these are just puzzles that are not normal. Let's walk a little bit further so we can actually see the cat. And now use the squeaky mouse toy on the cat so we can catch him. Well, what do we have here? <laughs> Looks like a prosthetic rodent. <laughs> well, there we go. We Another have the cat. Specimen. Specimen. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, that's it. Um, Let's go to the kennel. So we can actually free uh, the Edisons. First off, we won the differ dinner certificate because we won the human contest. That's why that was important. We can give it to the guard because if you can remember from the last episode, he wants to go to the tentacle club. Probably with us, but hey. Whoa, dinner for two at club tentacle? Yep. I can't wait to tell my wife. Oh, you have a wife. You betrayed me. Well, switch. Use it. You're free. Free to do what? Free to... to run wild through the woods like humans <laughs> should. Big deal. I said you're free. Now get off your fat, lazy butts <laughs> and start enjoying it. Enjoy being hunted for the rest of our lives by that mustached old tentacle with a big net? If we ran off, he'd be right on our trail. If we stay here, we know we'll be warm and comfortable. Outside, we'd be eating bugs and moss. You'll be eating my fist in a second. <laughs> the woods Whoa. are filled with wild animals, lions, tigers, and skunks. Man, I hate skunks. Well, there you have it, skunks, and we have a cat with a white stripe on its back. There we go. Hey, look, a skunk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> Come back here, you mangy humans! You can't do this! This is an escape-proof facility! Well, not anymore. Who says you can't learn anything from cartoons, eh, kitty? <laughs> well, there we go. The Edisons have escaped. And this means that we can go to the grandfather's clock right now. Meanwhile... <clears throat> ah, Lieutenant. I'm glad you're here. What kept you? Uh, well, I hate to say it, sir, but uh, there was some trouble with one of the humans. Trouble? What sort of trouble? Nothing I couldn't handle, but I've noticed something about the humans that may pose a problem. Do continue. Well, sir, in general, they seem to be a bit larger than us tentacles. You know, taller, <laughs> heftier, more massive. And I get the picture, son. I don't mean to carry on, sir. It's just that it makes me feel inadequate, small, inferior. <laughs> oh, before you go off the deep He's end, gonna shrink him, right? Let me tell you why I called you here. You see, I've invented something which will end our troubles with those glandular leg walkers for good. <laughs> I've invented leg walkers. The diminuator. Yeah, he did it. What? It's a shrink it's ray, a right? Shrink yeah. Ray, don't. Oh, I get it. Now I need you to get me a few parts so I can finish the thing. Come over here. Well, he's getting closer and closer to shrinking us. So we need to get our puzzles right because we need to save the world. But that's going to be in the next episode. This was an amazing uh, journey so far into this game. It's amazing. I'm still enjoying it. Every time I sit down to record it, I have a smile on my face just because I like it so much. Uh, I hope you guys did too. As And as always, I've been Hipbone. You've been yourself. Thanks for being awesome. Thanks for watching. <laughs>